Hey everybody, it's Sandra, the Midnight Quilter. As you all know, I absolutely love QCT Gold. It has the most amazing features. So today I want to share with you one of my favorite ones. It's called Fabric Comp. I want to begin with a quick overview that will help you to understand the basic concepts behind Fabric Comp. If there's one distinct aspect with quilting, it is there's no such thing as a straight line. This is usually true for most of us, at least some of the time. Whether it's due to minor imperfections in piecing seams, variations due to fabric stretching, or how straight your quilt is loaded on the frame, long straight lines can be difficult to achieve and can create problems when quilting, especially when trying to sew long patterns within constricted margins. The Grace Company's Fabric Compensation Tool solves this by utilizing Fabric Comp to easily place patterns, borders, blocks, and pantographs to accurately fit within the seams on your quilt. The Fabric Compensation Tool can be accessed from the home screen under Select and Sew, Pantograph, or Borders. The process is simple. After the pattern is placed, you open Fabric Compensation, then select which placement segment you want to adjust. Then you will slowly move your sewing machine along the seam on your quilt where you want the pattern to adjust within your seam. With each plus button click, the placement line is altered as well as the pattern within the newly created line. If your seam is a little wonky, no worries, as this feature will allow you to adjust your pattern to fit perfectly into your border. Let's practice the procedure. Because we have already placed our pattern within our border, we are now ready to begin the process of properly adjusting our pattern to fit accurately within the border by utilizing Fabric Comp. To access Fabric Comp, we will need to tap on the Quilting Interface Plugins icon located in the top right corner of your screen. Then choose Fabric Comp. Here, you will mark the seams of the border by slowly moving your machine across the seam horizontally, stopping periodically to tap the green plus mark. Before we begin adjusting our pattern, let's take a quick look at the Fabric Comp screen and take note of a few important things. First of all, the dark green line is your active line. It is already selected for you by default, as is the lines icon, which indicates that you will be marking your pattern in one straight line from one point to another point. The next and previous icons will allow you to forward to the next seam of your border or go back to the previous seam if you need to readjust your marked point. If you choose to select arc, be aware that your pattern will be placed in an arc and not in a straight line between your set points. Also notice on this screen the green plus mark and the red minus mark. The green plus mark allows you to add your points along your seam line and the red minus mark will erase previously marked points. The red X mark on the bottom left will eliminate all the previously set points on your active line, and the red X on the right will eliminate all previously set points. Now that you have become familiar with the Fabric Comp screen, let's start to adjust your pattern within your border. Prior to beginning your Fabric Comp adjustment, you will need to move your machine slightly away from the corner point of your border, as indicated in the video. Now let's begin adjusting your seam line. Begin with the top border seam line and slowly move your machine from left to right along the top seam line, adding marks by using the green plus. As you continue moving and tapping the green plus, you will notice that a small green circle will appear along the seam to indicate your placement. As you complete each seam, select Next on your screen 
and repeat the process for each seam in your border. Watch now as the video takes you through this process. Now that you have marked your seam, tap OK. After tapping OK, choose Pull Bobbin from your screen. And once Bobbin has been pulled, you can select Sew to complete your border. You have now mastered manipulating your pattern to accurately fit into your borders, blocks, or pantographs. And you have given the illusion that your seams are indeed straight, though we as quilters know that sometimes, that's not the whole truth of the matter. But thanks to Fabric Comp, we don't have to worry when or if we occasionally fall short of precisely sewing that accurate straight seam line. You never have to worry and you can always feel confident when using Fabric Comp, even if your fabric has incurred variations due to stretching or you have inadvertently altered your quilt when placing it onto your frame. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and have found the information to be helpful. I promise utilizing this feature will enhance your quilting experience and make things a lot easier when you have the need to accurately place a pattern within a somewhat wonky seam line. So give Fabric Comp a try. I know you will love it as much as I do. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for other helpful tutorials using Quilter's Creative Touch.